here at Eddio's Poor House and Kitchen in Milton. The door is once again locked, not by their choice, of course, as restaurants and many other establishments have to close for at least 21 days to combat the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. But what does that mean for Eddie Oliveira? How is he feeling to once again be going back instead of forward? This is the hardest one. We have been following Eddie Oliveira's journey since the pandemic began. And as he just described, having to close once again is something that he just didn't anticipate. Uh, I think I'm all spent on reactions. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing much more, you know, that I can say or do or, 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 or just kind of, um, you know, that, that, that level of hurt was first, then it turned into a level of anger. You know, and now it's more, uh, again, scratching the head and saying, what now? Everything that we're supposed to do, um, we've done. It's almost a repetitive. We're doing everything you're telling us to do and you keep locking us down. You're telling us to do this, we do this. Um, we have done everything uh, from contact tracing to temperature checks. Uh, obviously with the new QR codes that are coming out, um, you know, having 14, 15 year old hosts and hostesses at the front door mandating, you know, this, um, this program to keep the safety, uh, not only of our staff, but of our guests. Uh, I thought we did that really good. It certainly seemed like there was a light at the end of the tunnel when the Ontario government opened up capacity limits for restaurants in July of last year. Oliveira says he doesn't think it's fair to once again be forced to close when they have always made health and safety a top priority. We've been um, kind of pushed harder into that corner to ensure uh, that we are um, taking it seriously and we have been taking it seriously uh, to only be like just a voice that's not even heard, you know, and it's, it, 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 it's, it's sad because, you know, I had to send out notifications to my teammates saying, stay home, there's nothing for you to do right now. So where do we go from here? Well, Oliveira says they will be going back to a takeout and delivery program as a way to move forward and stay positive. Like I said before in many interviews, I'm not going to let my dream die, but maybe my dream will end up being on four wheels in a truck and just cruising up and down streets versus having a, a fixed building, which is a house for people to come in and disconnect from their lives to enjoy a little bit of social and a little bit of celebration. You can certainly hear and feel the sense of loss in Oliveira, but he wants to reassure his supporters that he's going to continue to do as much as he can so that hopefully on January 26, these doors will open once again. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.